Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Okay, I think your audio might be off. There we go. Can you hear me now? Hey, Jimmy, can you test your microphone real quick? Check, check, check. Yeah, check. there we go. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Give it just uh, another minute or so, see if we get anybody else joining, then we'll dive right into it. Does anybody need to uh, record? If I could possibly record, I'd appreciate that. Yep. Thank you. that work for you? Yes, it did. Thank you. All right. We will we'll jump right into it. If anybody else joins, we'll, I'll add them in as we go along. Um, here today, uh, also, we have uh, Jimmy Phelps, uh, multi-time Super Dirt Car Series winner, uh, small block Super Dirt Week champion. Uh, Jimmy, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, appreciate it. Obviously, we have Super Dirt Week coming up here less than a week. Uh, Weedsport this weekend, doubleheader there at Weedsport for you. Um, just kind of talk about, um, obviously, you obviously you got that win at Weedsport, locked yourself in, um, got that guaranteed starting spot for Super Dirt Week. So what, what did it mean to kind of get that win at Weedsport and be able to lock yourself into Super Dirt Week on top of that as well? Well, you know, obviously, Weedsport is tough. It's been tough for us, you know, over the course of the last you know, several years, we've been really close at times. And then there's been times where we've struggled a little bit. So, you know, obviously to get that monkey off our back, get a big win there. Um, you know, it's probably one of our biggest events of the year, um, you know, just during the, during the normal season. So, um, yeah, it was a, it was a, a huge relief. And then, you know, obviously it takes the edge off a little bit going into qualifying, just making sure that we, um, you know, we're in the show. Um, you know, obviously the goal is obviously to, to, to time trial well, qualify well, start up front and, and get your track position. But um, it's nice to know that if, you know, things go, uh, you know, things go a little sideways on you during qualifying that, you know, you can you can focus on your, your race package and, and you're not, you know, worried about making sure you do everything to get yourself into the, you know, qualifying spot. Definitely. Awesome. We'll open up to questions. Uh, everybody has questions. You either just raise your hand in the video, I can see you, or just use the the, the raise your hand uh, feature there. So jump right into it if anybody's got any questions. John. Yep, go ahead. So, uh, Jimmy, you're one, kind of one of the veterans of this series, and you've obviously um, had a lot of experiences at Dirt Week before. And so I just was wondering if you could talk about like how your experience 
plays into your strategy, like going in, like if that's something that you feel gives you an edge or just kind of how you uh, prepare for the upcoming um, dirt week. Well, I don't, I don't know that it gives us too much of an edge anymore. I mean, there's um, so much information available to, to even the new teams, you know, that, uh, you know, you're definitely, um, you're definitely in the same boat to some extent as far as, you know, preparation. Um, the equipment's all very similar now and just about everybody's got good stuff. I think the, the one thing that, you know, experience brings to the table is that we've been in those situations that arise during the race um, that, you know, hopefully can help us make smarter decisions, get us out of trouble a little bit easier than, you know, maybe the next guy because we've been there. You know, we've lost this race about every way you can lose it. So, um, you know, there's a lot to be learned from that. Um, so I don't, I don't know, I guess to answer your question, I don't know that um, our preparation is going to be much different than anybody else. You know, everybody's working hard to make sure that they bring the best car, um, the best maintained car, this stuff's, you know, going to stay together for the whole week. But uh, hopefully, you know, once the green flag drops, you know, we'll be able to, to make smarter decisions as the race goes on to how to be the best we can be at the end. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Anybody else? Hey, Jimmy, I got one. So. Go ahead, Bobby. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know if I was in or not. With everything that you've got going on now with, with having Max back at the team and you know, so far, it seems like you guys have been pretty beneficial this year, but um, with everything that's going on, how will that work for your week this year? Uh, it'll work the same as it's worked all year long, you know, as far as, um, you know, I think, you know, he and I are, you know, obviously using each other um, as a resource, you know, some feedback uh, based on the, the given night, what our cars are doing. Um, if anything, we, you know, we can, if there's, you know, if one of us is going good, we can migrate towards that. If we're both going bad, we can kind of share our notes and try to, you know, see how we can dig ourselves out of the hole. But, uh, you know, as far as, as far as resources, obviously, uh, Al and everybody at HBR, you know, give us both what we need. Um, we have a, a, a pretty deep uh, group of guys, you know, and, and, and then obviously we've always had some, we, we both have, you know, some, some good guys that come in and do, do this dirt week deal with us. So I think manpower wise will be fine. I, I don't, I don't see it being anything uh, any different than any other year. We'll just have each other to kind of fall on a little bit and I can't see where that can hurt. Uh, going off that real quick, obviously you were pretty excited to have Max come on board with you guys beginning this year. How has that dynamic been between you two just working together all year? Just kind of the, like you said before, uh, the younger guy, you know, the veteran trying to kind of work with each other and throw yeah, it. It's been all positive, you know, I mean, we both kind of went through our ups and downs as far as, um, you know, when we've, we've, you know, had our, our good runs and then we've had some, some stretches where we've struggled a little bit and had to find our way back. But um, you know, the one thing we've learned and we kind of knew going in, we both kind of have different driving styles, but same token, um, there's definitely been a lot of situations where, you know, uh, one of us will have a little better deal going on for a certain track or a certain track condition. And, and it, it, you know, it allows us to kind of, you know, migrate in either direction to try to benefit ourselves. And usually by the end of the night, it's like we've we got ourselves where we're, you know, we're closer because of it. So um, I think it's been positive. It's, it's, um, you know, there's, there's definitely um, probably been more good than bad. And, and uh, you know, hopefully going into their week, it'll, you know, it'll be nice to have a, like I said before, it'll be nice to have two notebooks to rely on and, and two, you know, every time you go on the track, you got to learn from, you know, that, that particular round of this or that qualifying run or that heat race or whatever. And, you know, sometimes you're trying things to get faster. Sometimes it, sometimes it doesn't. But when you got two different opportunities um, within the same camp to try to learn and get better, it, it helps. Are you guys be running the small block race again as well? Yeah, as of right now, we are planning on um, 
uh, you know, our, you know, we don't, um, you know, our small back program's pretty much limited to each got, you know, one car, one motor. Um, I think we're planning on running a race for that. So if all stays together and we're good to go, um, we plan on dual being there with the 358. How much extra does being able to run 358 help you guys too? Like you said, you're always searching for more notes, but does, does the 358 actually help you with those notes as well, even though it's a little bit different? Like um, it's over? I, I don't really feel that at this point it helps you a ton with the car. Um, but, you know, anytime you can get on a track that we don't see all year, you know, it was the same way back in the Syracuse days. Anytime you get more laps on a track that, you know, you only get to run once a year or you don't get to run much at all, um, laps are laps, you know, so the driver gets a little more tuned up as the week goes on. And uh, if you can kind of double that exposure and double those laps early on in the week, I can't see, you know, where it could hurt at all. I think it's positive in that front. Plus, it gives us the opportunity Saturday to kind of see where the track, how the track went, and how it deteriorated, and, you know, what changes we kind of had to make during the race. So it gives you a little bit of a head start. Awesome. Uh, anybody else have any more questions as well? Yep, go ahead. Um, I was wondering if we could kind of go back to your win at Weedsport because that one was really special. It was, you know, a home track and you hadn't won in a while. And so I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and just recap it and just talk about how that win impacted you where now going into dirt week, you might have a little extra confidence or just a little extra motivation to be back on top. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess that story could go back quite a ways. Um, you know, obviously, Weedsport was one of my home tracks for since the start of my modified career, um, going back into the mid '90s. And um, you know, as a you know, as a guy just kind of coming up through and had our own family-owned team and and so on and so forth, we really won a lot of races. You know, we had a probably the most success we had the big block game at Weedsport. You know, so then fast forward to, you know, 2013 and when, um, you know, Mr. Hanke ends up taking ownership of the track, we start kind of getting involved in this journey of, of managing, you know, the speedway and, and bringing it to life. And it seemed like we had had some good runs, you know, we had a couple seconds, we had some, you know, we had some really good runs, but we just weren't winning. And, and then, you know, we had won a couple, you know, I think we won a small black race in 2015. We won a small black race again this year, a couple weeks prior to the, the Hall of Fame 100 win. But, you know, we, uh, we were winning, we weren't winning big black races. It almost got to the point where it was almost comical. You know, we spend half our life on the property and now all of a sudden we can't win anymore. So, um, in that regards, it was, it was just a, you know, it was almost, it, you almost had a laugh. It was just a huge relief. And, um, you know, finally, you know, finally get up on that hill, you know, and, and do it in the big event and, and, uh, and do it for real. So, um, yeah, and we hadn't run it, you know, we hadn't won a point paying tour race in a few years either. And those are obviously getting extremely hard to come by. You know, when you look at the, when you look at the, uh, when you look at the, the, the tally at the end of the year, you know, there's only a handful of guys winning them. So, um, you know, you, you take that into consideration how, you know, special just winning a big black tour event is today. Um, obviously, it, it packaged it all up, and it was a really great night. Thank you. So, what does that do? Has has that done for you since winning that race? Has have you seen a difference, maybe just in yourself and the team, just knowing you guys finally kind of got that monkey off your back a little bit? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. You know, I think it, the we it seems like we're on a, a pretty decent run right now. You know, we've already, I think we've already kind of, you know doubled or tripled our tally from last year and, and things have been rolling pretty good the last month or so, you know, we, um, you know, I think we ended up with three days birds and we, you know, we kicked it off in Florida with some momentum and then seemed like kind of once we got started up here, a little bit of a wall. Got retooled and um, I'd say by, you know, mid July, it seemed like we hit our stride again and um, things have been rolling pretty good. We've been, we've been pretty happy with our cars. We've been, you know, we've been, We've been heading in the right direction, you know, and obviously, um, you know, to grab that, to grab that tour win and, um, you know, that, that definitely, like I've always said, and I think everybody will agree that's ever been involved in this deal. Confidence is, uh, half the battle, you know, and, and there's, there's a lot of times throughout, 
everybody's seasons every year where you either have it or you don't. I think right now we have it and uh, coming into, you know, this stretch with uh, a couple of big shows that we support, then obviously uh, super dirt week to follow. Um, the timing's really good. Right. You kind of mentioned just kind of going back real quick, um, obviously just growing up in New York and racing in all these tracks and just kind of being around the atmosphere of the, the Northeast racing. What, what was it like kind of growing up in New York, becoming a dirt racer in New York and knowing there's the super dirt week there. That's kind of this super bowl for. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was an incredibly fortunate. I mean, I, and, and I, it seems like you, you know, you don't realize it, you know, you realize it, but then every year that goes by and, and it starts to get, you know, you start to get more responsibility. You know, I got kids in college now. I got high school kids playing sports. I got a couple businesses that we're overseeing. It's uh, it's getting harder and harder to travel. And um, when you, then it makes you realize how I grew up, I grew up in, uh, you know, suburb of Syracuse, New York, and, and you know, could literally, you know, my bike was super dirt weak if I had to. Um, you know, and then you, you look around it, there was seven, eight, nine, ten racetracks within two hours, you know what I mean? And, uh, that's, I guess you, you take it for granted, but then you start to see some of these guys within a, the closest track to them is two hours. So it's, um, yeah, extremely fortunate. I got to watch the best of the best growing up, you know what I mean? And, and, uh, you know, I got to see a lot of that history unfold, you know, the stuff that we're reading about now, you guys are posting about now, as far as, you know. You know, you look back and, uh, you know, when they start releasing the, all the greatest moments of, of Super Deer Week and, and, you know, it seems like I probably was there for a good job and it was, it was really cool. Definitely. Any other questions? Yep, go ahead. I have one last one. Um, so then looking forward to Dirt Week, um, what are your goals? Like, what are your expected results that you're like hoping to get? Well, we want to win. You know, we've, we've come close at this point, you know, it's, uh, yeah, that's the goal. You know, there's, you kind of take dirt week in stages, you get there, you, you know, you want to be, you want to, you want a car that feels comfortable and that's got some speed in it. Um, then obviously you want to time trial well and, and get yourself in position to, to qualify well. So you got a good starting spot. And then obviously the goal is to stay clean all day and put yourself in position to win the race. And, uh, um, like I said, we've, We've been on every every side of that coin you know we've we've had fast cars and, and didn't have much to show for it we've survived and had good finishes where we've struggled so um it was to, to put all that together and just have one of those days where you know it goes our way thank you and uh, good luck i appreciate it thanks thank you any other questions if not, uh, thank you, Jimmy. Really appreciate you joining us. Yeah, um, thanks, guys. Yeah, definitely. This is great. Um, and thank you, everybody, for joining. Uh, reminder, next week at 11, we'll have uh, Jeff Hockman and the mayor of us will go on. So uh, thank you, everybody. Every, yeah, sorry. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> appreciate it. Take care, guys. Yeah, thank you.